Hi lovely people, hope you're smelling fragrant and lovely. <laughs> so um, it's been raining here non-stop in the UK. I am currently residing on the south coast of England. Um, so I have a beach close by and it's just rain, rain, rain. So I decided to just turn on the camera and do a video. I've been meaning to do a video on these lovely um, vintages that I'm about to show you. Um, yeah, I was supposed to go to yoga, but I've, I've had to cancel or do some exercise at home. So let's crack on with the first one. So this one is, it's a, it's a golden oldie. And um, these um, fragrances, these perfumes, they are very overlooked. And I've looked on YouTube to see if there's any reviews and there's no, I don't, I didn't see any reviews. Maybe I've missed something, but I've seen none and I can understand completely why no one reviews them because people regard them as, they're kind of oldie worldy, but um, not just that. I think they're on the lower end, like more kind of budget but I am in no way means a perfume snob. <laughs> I can't stand um, snobbery, to be quite frank. So that's not my thing. Um, this is the first one. This is Tweed and this is by Lanthric. Now, this actually came out in 1933. Wow, <laughs> it seems like such a long time ago and it is. You know, it is definitely what I call a musty, dusty old bugger because <laughs> it really is. This perfume, so I'm going to talk about what I pick up on, on in this um, perfume because to me, this is a hidden gem and um, I'm surprised that there isn't any reviews or talk on this perfume. It's very overlooked, like I say. This is like nothing, and I've smelt quite um, a few uh, perfumes um, over the years, like many different ones, and um, I've smelt a lot. <laughs> um, and this smells like nothing I've ever come across, and I don't feel um, you will get anything like this in the future anyway. Um, now, how to describe this? I'm not going to spray this one on because it's so heavy. It's not heavy, sorry, that's not true. It's not a heavy um, perfume. However, it's it's um, it has a very vintage vibe. If you do not like vintage perfume and perfumes from days of the past, you will not like this. Um, to me, it's kind of a woody, um, it's got some florals in there for sure, but it's kind of like a woody, earthy type smell. It really um, suits this weather. I tend to wear this when it rains a lot, hence the video. Um, but I tend to wear this when it rains and when it's kind of cold, this would be quite stuffy in the summer months. It, it probably wouldn't work um, very well in the summer months. It would be perhaps too stuffy. It, it just brings to mind the past and times past. To be honest, do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of old um, trains. To me, this is what I get from this, old trains from London um, so you had the underground and back in the days when um, people used to smoke um, on the trains um, no was it on the platform I think it was you were able to smoke and it reminds me of being extremely young and um, this is gonna sound gross but this is what London Underground <laughs> was like um, I don't live in London anymore so you know I, I don't know but it used to be like you'd have the chairs and I remember as a child like whacking the chair and all like dust and stuff like that would come up 
and there would be men with their bowler hats. Um, I, I sometimes saw that, believe it or not, um, bowler hats and their big, massive newspapers and their um, long, tall umbrella sticks and their old, fusty, dusty old suits, you know, tweed suits, hence the name tweed so sorry i in case i didn't mention this is called tweed by lonthreek so <laughs> this is what conjures that image to me and i quite like that because uh, for me it's kind of comforting because i grew up in london and it also reminds me of um obviously i wasn't kind of around in those days but there were still the old um trains in london um actually going out of London um, in um, so the old so that would be the underground I've just talked about the London underground but the trains going to wherever maybe up north or something um, or out outside of London the trains you used to have um, actually the windows that you could actually grab them and pull them down and stick your head out as a child and you know have a laugh with your friends and family and stuff like that obviously for health and safety reasons they got rid of that but I remember if you look back in the old black and white films I absolutely love the old black and white films like Hitchcock and, and things like that I love that Alfred Hitchcock um, you'll see those train journeys that people took and the black and white movies the way that people presented themselves and dressed and on the um, trains there was always this bit up the top where you could put your luggage and your umbrellas and, and stuff like that and people would sit with the news big massive newspapers and read it brings to mind that that's why i call it a dusty musty dusty old bugger because that's what it brings to mind to me usually um with these old vintages they do create like um, kind of like an image for me. Um, they create an image and that's what it brings to mind. So back to the actual perfume, you can see it has an um, inbuilt atomizer and the spray is, is like a continuous spray. So I absolutely love this you do get some of the um sign of some of the uh, ever so slight i've got the um like uh, my laptop here so i can refer back to it but i'm trying not to because i know a lot of people do that and i'm just trying to draw from my own experience you do get a lot of um kind of citrus but that is very quickly gone with the musty, dusty um, kind of space that we enter, if you will. Um, I feel what I smell most is kind of like a woody, earthy smell. It's, it's very hard to describe this perfume. It would be easier for me to describe the other one I'm going to show. But it's very hard for me to describe this because this is definitely of its time for sure and it's it's very um, kind of bold earthy like damp soil type uh, kind of thing I'm assuming obviously when people say that to me that just straight away represents patchouli however it's quite aromatic I feel this was targeted towards I feel it was yeah for women however I feel like men you guys out there you're gonna love this because it does have um that kind of i mean like if this was released now this would probably be unisex or even targeted towards a male audience because i don't feel it's very feminine i don't feel there's much feminine femininity about this but it stands alone in its own right and it's very, very, very of its time and very otherworldly is what comes to, 
mind it's other because let's let's face it you know those times are long gone and um it it, it was it it is a was from another world another time another era and that's what it brings to mind I don't think you're gonna have anything like this ever again I stocked up bottles of it for the simple reason that my mum used to wear this um, I come from a large family so my mum didn't I didn't grow up with like my mum wearing all oh, Chanel and you know Galan and all this stuff which is lovely you know um, my mum wore this tweed um, but she also wore a few other um, what you call um, drugstore uh, fragrances as of like many women of that time uh, did if you had a family and were a busy mother um, but this was a treat and I remember this um, so it's a earthy woody aromatic scent in a nutshell in a nutshell but i just wanted to bring to your attention the kind of images that it evokes um for me inside rainy day old black and white movies and that kind of thing um it is one of a kind tweet <laughs> you can still get this available it's very inexpensive now i think there's another company i don't remember the name that do this like a newer version of this i don't believe it smells anything like this i don't think it can this is you know i've got like i think i've got like three bottles of this i've got one with a green lid i think that that one is slightly fresher than this and i've got a couple of these because um i wanted to have the original um, formulation of this so anyway that's tweet the next one is going to be by the same um, company Lonthreek and that is panache and you can see it's got this silly looking bowl it's kind of cheapy business but you know that's how it comes and you can see I've used quite a lot and um, so it's panache and um, Panache is, um, let's have a, oh my God, this one is, it's really quite something. It's beautiful. I actually wore this was it, two days ago, so I'm kind of, I don't want to spray too much because I've only got that little bit left actually. This is um, a poor man's, <laughs> it's a poor man's reef gauche basically that's what it is but i find i find um this is the packaging as well for it this is the original packaging and you see it's got an l on there for lanthreek and it's actually i like the blurb on the back i'm going to read it to you before i go into the details of panache panache is a very special fragrance created by lanthreek for women with flair charm and lots of style <laughs> panache is classical yet rather daring and when you wear it everybody notices panache <laughs> so that's how the original packaging comes like um so it's your poor man's reef gauche however i actually prefer this i've owned uh, Reef Gauche back in the day, long time ago, and I love it. But I don't like the um, the thought of spray, spraying um, a perfume that comes from an aluminium can um, on my body. Aluminium is really not good for us. Um, but anyway, I digress. So um, this one I find to be, if you find that too sharp, which it is, this is softer. That's, it's just more softer, more creamier and more enveloping. Uh, it's, they say it's an aldehydic, aromatic, white floral, woody, citrus, musky, powdery. So to me, what this comes across is aldehydic, aldehydic, 
aldehydic. Oh my god, I can't say the word. Aldehydic. Full of aldehydes. And it's a floral. And it's to me, it's kind of um, ethereal. It has this ethereal kind of the way it sits on your skin and, and around you, it kind of floats around you. I prefer this personally in the summer months because when I put it on after I've come out of the gym, I feel like it really envelops me and it smells fresh, clean, but it's not like a bar of soap or anything like that. It's not that kind of all laundry detergent. It smells nothing like that. It's just aldehydic and floral but fresh and kind of what the way it dries down on my skin it's quite creamy it's beautiful now again there is another company i believe that have these um old time old timers um however i would say that i prefer to get the original because you know they they were made with certain ingredients that you just don't get anymore so i really really love this one this is still available um and it's it's very close to reef gauche and there's another perfume that is very close to that it reminds me of that i've actually got um calendra or something like that and it comes in a really big long bottle um calendra Calendra or something like that. I think it's Paco Rabanne Calendra or something like that. It smells very much the same as that and Reef Gauche. It's a, it's kind of a, like I say, a poor man's Reef Gauche. However, I actually prefer this. Um, so this is now. Would I say it's long, la uh, long lasting? Um, I feel like on me it is. I feel like it kind of sticks, especially if it gets like in my hair or my clothes. It does stick, but you do have to reapply as well, you know. Um, but it's kind of nice when you come out of the shower in the summer. It's kind of fresh and, you know, people like um, what they call like freshies or whatever. I'm not really into that. So this is my, um, this is my version of a freshie, to be honest. And this one, I find it's quite a heady, musty, oldy. I don't know, it's hard to explain this one. But this one is, um, it does last, it sticks to you. Um, but I wouldn't wear this in the summer, as I've stated. But anyway, I've, I've rambled on for way too much. I can talk quite a lot about perfume because it is something that I really, really love. Um, and one more thing before I go on the subject of uh, creativity and art. So I love, um, you can see like here, where I'm pointing to there, I've got a picture, I've showed it in one of my older videos. Um, I love art. I like going to museums and galleries and things like that. And where I live, this town is full of artists. There's so many artists here and there and everywhere, like musically and uh, creatively, like in, in, in fashion, um, uh, like paintings, drawing. In fact, where I live, about a five to eight minute walk just down the road, there is a massive art um, studio and well there's many of them where I live a gallery and a coffee shop which is it's just it's a very creative town where I live that's all I can say and in a vintage uh, store that I visited recently I found this so those that know anything about art you'll know what this is or oh, you can see my curtains up there um, this is Salvador Dali and I absolutely love Salvador Dali. I have loved Salvador Dali ever since I was, well, like going back years back, I was fascinated by his pieces of um, work. I think um, 
if I'm not mistaken, years ago, um, I went to, yes, I did. <laughs> I tried to remember, it was such a long time ago. <clears throat> Um, an ex of mine to, took me to um, one of his um, um, galleries with his pieces of works of art and it was just like wow just amazing it was amazing I've also owned a really I think I may have talked about this I can't remember but um, I owned a really big massive um, it was like on a piece of wood um, painted onto a piece of wood it was um, one of his pieces of work and I actually found that beside a bin years ago and for, for the life of me I don't know why but I got rid of it I think it's because it was so heavy I didn't want to put it on my wall I was afraid that it would break down and, and fall down and break or something so I didn't end up um, putting it on my wall and I got rid of it and I really regret that. That's one big regret because I didn't pay anything for it. It was for free. Um, and I'm someone who I like, I, I really like um, abstract or surrealism and all this kind of thing. So I just, yeah, enjoy and have a big appreciation for art. And, um, oh, one more thing I would say, when I think about this um, perfume, it kind of reminds me of something like, like I said, from the old times, but also kind of mysterious. And that's what inspired me to wear my witchy cardigan that I have. Um, it is a very mysterious scent. So um, anyway, that's my reviews. <laughs> I hope you like it and I see you guys for, is it a review? I don't know. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.